All right, I'm in the uh, the putter madness nine hole cup. So I played in my main account earlier, but uh, I totally screwed up on in the middle of the of the round, and ended up uh, dropping a shot off minimum score, and then uh, not picking up a par four. Two bad holes back to back. So I'm gonna play my practice account and see if I can. Uh, get the 16 that i'm looking for so here we go here we go what do we got let's go look at the holes i don't have very much time so hopefully these pages will load fast all right hole number one i'm taking an extra mile and a titan extra mile Titan, the king of balls. That's right, you heard it right here. That should be all I need. And I'm not trying to get on the green, I'm just trying to lay up. Here we go. I'm going to put on my perfect glasses. Extra mile Titan, plus 10 mark. Two top spin. Let's get it at the plus 10 mark first. Two top spin. Two point four. It's 2.1 per ring, so that leaves me three. So it's one and a seventh. <laughs> what the hell is one and a seventh? That was two rings great to the left, or excuse me, the right. That was way off track. But the whole goal was just to get up there and give myself a chip. I'm on the, I would actually rather be to the left because you got a straight up shot to the cup. So I'm over on the mogul side. I may actually have to uh, play my rapier like an inbringer and put a couple backspin on it and get up close to the hole. Because I'm going to have to go through all of those little moguls right there. And if you run topspin, it wants to change direction. Whereas if you're right here in front, you're kind of going up that trough and you don't have to deal with that terrain. I will tell you, one of Aratadad, one of my viewers, thanks for commenting on the channel, talk, was talking about uh, like that new putter might become the norm. And I... I think at the very beginning of the game, that's probably what they wanted to do, but they needed to have something that was kind of easy and different from most other games. And putting was very difficult in a lot of other games. So, let's see if I can run top spin. I can. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if it hits the flagpole or if it comes in on that side. So wind was definitely a factor. <coughs> I was trying to hedge my bet there. I started off on that side. It was it was hopping. If I moved it even a smidgen more to the right, it was popping off to the other side of the cup. I was trying to be right inside the flagpole. I know you can use your rings when you're really, really close like that, but... Ooh! Just a bit outside. That is brutal. That is a must-get hole. And I... I feel like I got, uh... Got lucky. Alright, hole number two. What is hole number two? Let's see if I can get this in before I run out of time. Okay, we need to get an Albi on this. This is the hole. I'm taking that. Berserker. I 
and I'm taking my number one bag. Off we roll. All right, I played this earlier and I've been messing around with the fully extended, so fully into my red line. The transition between the second and the third cut of the rough, I'm four full rings into the third cut. I want to get all the top spin and everything on it. Two seven. 2.1 per ring, so that leaves me six. That's about a third, a little over. And I got all of it. This is the one, not didn't go far enough. Still got a great shot from here, but this is gonna be probably Mid short iron. Now on this account, I have a Hornet. So I gotta think about how I'm gonna play my Hornet. I need to bring up my trusty dusty calculator and my phone's dead. <laughs> so I'm firing it up right now, but it'll be too late. So I have to do this math in my head. I think I'm playing my Hornet 1.0, 1 1.3, 1 1.9. Hello, Moto. Hello, Moto. Let's see where I'm at. Yeah, there's Max. There's Min, so there's Mid. So I'm at Mid Club, which is 1.3 per ring. So that'd be 2.6. So there's two six, one point three. I'm gonna over pull it just a titch. Oh, and I hit it great to the right. Oh, that'll only work if the over pull <laughs> was not right. And I probably still needed to pull it a little bit more. Arr, that Alvi right there is absolutely gettable. Damn it. I think an actual play that might be the first time this week I haven't gotten the Alvi there. That's a fine time not to get it. So I'm taking everybody for a walk. We got a little bit of exercise. We did a little bit of pacing while we were waiting for our opponent. Now, what's shitty is, is that I got the Albi in my other count, but I screwed up in the middle of the round. But this Albi right here has been something that I've been getting all week. So, like, that's the shot. That's the extra shot that we're looking for. Damn it. Unprepared. Get my calculator out here because there are some holes here that definitely I'm definitely going to need a calculator on. This next hole being one of them. So I'm taking a grizzly and a marlin. Grizzly and a marlin. I'm doing a plus 10 to the cup at, uh, at max, even though I'm at minimum club. And I was right on it earlier today, and I 
it was too fast. I needed to put like one more titch of backspin on it. So I'm going to set it up in the spot that I think it needs to be in. And then I'm going to put one more, one more click of backspin. If I'd have had the right speed, it would have fallen in on the other side, but it missed the flagpole. I'm going to put on a full two. Okay, 4.7 equals divided by 0.9. Five seven four. There's five five. There's five seven five. Oh. <sighs> we'll never know. I got at least I got my speed right. <laughs> Two backspin. I haven't picked up that hole all week, so nothing's changed. And if I remember correctly, this next par five, the next hole, we're just going for eagle. Like it is an eagle hole. It's a birdie hole with an eagle opportunity. The last time I played it, I went up there a little bit farther I actually was in the perfect spot and then missed the chip. But I definitely do not want to have to take any putts that I don't have to take. <laughs> so on those big par fives where you don't have any control when you hit the green, you have no idea where you're going to go. I don't want to do that. I want to just end up off the green. Let's not use that putter. Unless we have to. I keep waiting for a freaking needle. It's throwing me off. <laughs> I think the deal is, is that we'll probably end up going back to our putter. But this view and this type of setup might be the, the way that we start dealing with it. All right, here we go, hole number four. Let's look at it real quick. Let's just make sure I've got, are we really on hole number four? Yeah, yeah, we are. Hole number four. All right, all right. I'm gonna take my number two bag, and I've actually got this bag right here set up. And I'm gonna take a five power ball. Now I was laying it up, there's a spot where you've got a straight up shot at it, but it does leave you a little bit farther back. I'm trying to hit a little bit farther forward just to see. I'm not trying to press my luck way down at the end, but I know I've seen people where they've been able to get, if you can get all the way to the very end, there is a rough bump that you can do there, but I'm not sure... I'm not sure if it was just to come out on the other side or if you were actually trying to go for the green. I can't remember. But I'm not sure I want to try and get that far down into this chute <laughs> and really risk overshooting it. It would be nice to put yourself in a better spot for at least a look at Alvi because really you don't have any look at Alvi at all. At least have a look at Alvi. And my opponent got quite a ways down there. 360. I'm actually not sure what distance I need to get out because I played this hole. Yeah, they're they're pretty far down there. Okay, where was I at? one. I'm 
can do a little over. Ain't it perfect? I was leaning, leaning ever so gently to the left. Three thirty-three. So this is the this is the argument. I'll have a straight up the gut shot. I won't have to put any curl to bring it around. That now they brought the wrong club in my opinion. See what kind of stuff they got. Yeah, with three billion, they've got a, they have a uh, upper developed cataclysm they could have brought, and it's got great ball guide and lots of top spin. That's gonna bleed off into the rough. You still got a great shot from there. It's just you got to hit that perfect. That's the deal. Two six. It's one point eight per ring, so that leaves me eight. It's about a ring and a half. Okay, one ring great to the left. In the rough. In the rough I go. So here we go. Here we go. Setting it up. Putting the pressure on. Having to, I'm having to recover. I got to get the eagle here. You, this is the same deal that happened on the in my main account as I dropped these middle holes. Now I was able to pick up the Aldi. So I was actually ahead of where I'm at right now. And what's sad there is, is I was in the perfect spot. I was right off the green and actually missed the chip. I was probably about 10 yards off the green. All right, I need to hit this perfect. I hit this perfect, it goes in the hole. Our round is recovered. We're back, we're, we're back in the, we still got a shot. <laughs> I missed this, we're done. We're smoked. That wind direction is tough. Isn't it perfect? Woo! Close! Saved the round right there. Jeez. That was so close. Close. Man, my heart quit beating. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Almost need something to drink now. All right, at least we had something good happen. So where are we here? We're on hole number five. Hole number five, what is hole number five? All right, and with that wind, I'm going for the, I'm going for the green. Now I screwed this shot up big time. And I've been like, I've been getting Eagle here. So let's see if we can back this up. Same stuff that I had last time. All right. Open up a chest. Get another one rolling. Being a farmer. Here we go. Hole number five. All right. Let's see if we can get something going on. I, hopefully I have enough time to get this round in. It's 11.18 right now. I'm on hole number five. Maybe. I've got 30 minutes. No more dilly-dallying. 
I have a question mark on hole number five, so I've been playing it super aggressive. I'm going to have a hard time getting an opponent because I'm waiting. It's at the end, so nobody's playing, so it's going to spin. I am on a U.S. server, though, so there's more people playing here than in the Netherlands where we were playing, or Hong Kong where we were playing earlier. We're playing in the Netherlands a lot as well. Okay, I'm going to take the wind out, just the wind, but it's pushing it forward. It's, we're getting more out of the wind than a lot more out of the wind than what it's showing right there. So like it could be a couple of rings, like in this situation right here, it's almost blowing double. So it's 2.1 per ring if you're using an extra mile. So it's about two rings, a little over, but it's pushing it forward. But we need to be forward a little bit more than what our shot can, can get. So I'm just going to take the wind out and I'm not going to take out anything more and hopefully the extra that it does is what I need to push me over. So it's two rings. Put just a titch of that back in. Hitting it perfect. Now we got three bounces here. Bounce number one looks good. Bounce number two, too far. You need that bounce to hit in the fairway. And then it's all about whether or not you carry enough speed to bounce. You're going to hit the rough or the sand, and whether it carries it out. You need that extra little oomph. We'll never know because it didn't hit the uh, it didn't hit the fairway. So I was trying to. If you're on the left hand side, I was trying to bring it to the left. If you're on the left hand side, you give yourself you give yourself more of the rough and sand. So if it doesn't make it out, you're in the rough and sand. But on the right hand side. You get to the fairway faster and if you miss it entirely and you hit the fairway you're gonna go bounce you're literally gonna go over that green and in the water on the other side because the first time I took that shot I did it from the other side and this side and I've done that both it's risky okay we got this shot and once again I gotta hit it perfect I'm way down in the I'm way down in it And the wind's blowing with me, so once again, you need a perfect. Hitting it perfect. Woo! In the hole! Look at that. Two recovers in a row. <laughs> I picked up those middle eagles. That is, that is big right there. Oh my gosh, that's, I screwed that up earlier. Now I'm still one down. I didn't get the Alvi on hole number three, so and I still have some I still have a ton of work to do. Running out of holes that you can actually pick shots up on, and there's some of this shit that's risky as hell. Hole number six. What is hole number six? Now one of these holes. Hole number six. This is the one with the sand bump. Alright, I'm using a Horizon. And once again, a Marlin. I think I have a horizon in one of these bags. All right, and I'm doing a 30% times whatever the wind is. And I'm going to play, even though I have full chest, I'm going to play. I'm going to make sure I can get my round in. All right, I'm taking a big-ass risk here doing this sand bump. 
So I'm doing a Horizon Navigator plus 30%. In this account, it's 2.4 per ring. And then I'm pushing it forward a quarter of a ring. If I can get an opponent. We'll do the wind first. Strike goes first. And they have a kingmaker out, so they got a three wind ball. I don't have anything that's more than. Well, I suppose I could use a nav. I think I. Uh, this one is with a nav, and I think I picked a marlin. I'll have to waste time in the in the ball sorting. Perfect. See if my opponent can get in the hole with a perfect shot. Close. Very close. Okay, wind first. 2.6 equals divided by 2.4. Ball second. Swap ball. Navigator. Hey, I don't need to look at it. I just need to pick it. It's max. It's 1.4 rings. And I'm going to push it forward about a quarter of a ring. Hitting it perfect. Just a bit too fast and a bit outside. Roll to the oh, you bat rat bastard. These types, I have missed at least one putt from this distance. This is a uh, and I what happened was I overhit it, it actually bounced over the cup. These greens have a lot of break to them, too. So if it breaks right up by the cup, you, you can't see it with this ball guide. Woo! I thought it was going to break off to the right there at the very end. Close. Close. All right. Didn't, uh, at least I didn't drop a shot on that. That sand bump is definitely risky. Hole number seven. Hole number seven. Final three here. Hole number seven. Really? All right, Sniper, Marlin. Let's not waste any time. This is the one with the Marlin. Yeah, let's not have to switch bags while I'm out there. I've got 18 minutes, three holes, maybe. If I can get into the ninth hole, that's why they have that 15 minute wait period because people will get into it. So I think I have enough time. Hole number eight, a pock and a kingmaker. It's a par five. What is that hole? Maybe if I can get an opponent, I might be able to. Uh, Backspin. It's four point four per 
I'm just doing a max adjustment. With this wind, last time I did a 4-4. Four, four. Hitting it perfect. See if I can actually even get there. And I was way off, it pushed me way off last time. So I'm at minimum club. I'm at probably about mid club from where I'm at. But I did a max adjustment, so that's like a plus 10, plus 20 percent. And I probably needed to do another 10 or 20 on top of that. <laughs> but that wasn't the case with the wind when it was blowing behind us. So when you had tailwind. This is the hole that I've had some success on in one-on-one, -on -one, but... In tournaments it's been hit or miss like I've made some stuff on it but it hasn't it's not a standout hole and I have definitely come at it a bunch of different ways but I and some of and I have had some success on it and then forgot how to play it that way <laughs> the first couple times I did the rough up here I had a lot of success and then it just got it looked like I went downhill <laughs> That was super close. In the hole. Party. All right. What do we got left here? We got two holes left. We got a par five and a par four. I'm taking an APOC and a Kingmaker. If I can find... Let's think about hole number eight. Let me think about which way the wind's blowing. So I'm gonna bring a my number two bag. And a four power ball. I prefer playing this with my rock instead of my apocalypse if there's headwind. Still gotta hit all the freaking buttons. <laughs> they don't want to make getting through that too fast because it keeps you in the game longer. The longer you're in the game, the more you might want to buy something. Come on. Come on. Let's get an opponent. Come on. Get an opponent and we can roll through this. I, this is another hole that I haven't had a lot of success on. And earlier today, man, it still seems like I did a, I did a big, I think I did like plus 20. But I'm still off to the left. And it almost feels like I just need to set the shot up. I was way on the edge, right hand edge of the cup and I still ended up with a plus 20 to the left. It almost feels like I just need to set it up to the left of the cup, like off the cup completely. <laughs> or I do some massive adjustment on it. I suppose I could do like a 40% adjustment on it just so that I could uh, And everybody's laughing at me going, hey, dude, that's not what you do. I can only tell you how it's been playing for me. Pull back a little from the red line. And put like one and a little teeny bit of top spin. One per ring. I'm going to do a two ring pull. Hitting it perfect. <clears throat> this is it. This is the last chance to pick up a shot. Because we have to get the eagle on hole number nine. I mean, that par four, we have to get an eagle. So, I mean, this is it.
The other thing to do is if you could get up there close enough, if you get up in front of that sand and start rubbing up against it, you could start putting on some right hand side spin and straighten the ball out. I should be up there far enough that I might be able to do that. So instead of like right, because the hill, this green is sloped down. Everything slopes down towards the green. But once you get past the cup on the left hand side of the cup, it's flatter. So instead of like right, trying to ride it down the hill to the cup, you're riding it up the hill. And it'll tend to keep its trajectory more when it's going up the hill. Let's turn the chat off. They may be a chatty... They may be pissed because they missed that. How far can I get up there? I might be in the spot where I can do that. Three point oh eight. It's about three point one. Getting it perfect. Get in the hole. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and I still didn't pull it enough. And that was a 40% pull. But I will tell you, that's the closest I've been in a long time. Maybe 45. What would 45 have been? Let's see. 3.2 instead of 3.1. So it would have been plus one. Plus one would have got me in the hole. make a note here 45 percent power four Arr. I haven't made that one I haven't made this hole in a long time but this is another one of those holes but this is also another one of those holes that you can very easily end up in a bad spot on the green because you have to limp onto it if you're not in the perfect spot off the drive and you didn't bring the right ball so you could end up with a really long, bad putt. And with that putter, they, they were definitely trying to take advantage of us on that hole. All right, hole number nine. I'm bringing an APOC and a power five low wind ball. And I don't have any of those, so I'm bringing a Berserker. And my number five bag. All right. So I definitely overhit it earlier with five top spin on the trajectory that I was on. So I'm going to hit it with, I'm going to try like four top spin. And this club should have four top spin. I'm bringing a power five ball so I don't have to do any overpower, but I am going to do max curl. So I'm going to start, instead of trying to start off like my opponent where I'm trying to get close to this rough or bridge that rough, I'm starting off as far as I can to the left. I'm going to actually be two and a half rings away from that, pretty much right where they, they set it up after they adjusted for win. That's where I'm going to start and bring it around the band. And give my curl plenty of room to and that's a nice shot nice shot that's good that dog will hunt that dog will hunt hey max two three four and a smidget maybe two and a half i think i was right at two so i'm coming in a little so that should be three and a third rings. It's 1.5 per ring. So there's three and a third. Max curl. Hitting it perfect. Ah, oh, and it caught this flat and it's gonna roll. Whew. 
can roll off the back if you catch it with just a, just the right amount it'll roll back down to the cup but you get a you get a look at at it when it goes past the cup and then if it goes if it does have just a little bit too much speed it'll go up the hill and then roll back down but that was just a little and I had five on there earlier I don't think a 15 is gonna get it done I didn't pick up anything as long as I can make this shot right here I think I picked up all the par fours and that was it. Hole number two is critical to the game and uh, did not get it done. That was the one, that was the focus hole. Damn it. I still got some work to do right here though. See if wind's a factor. I don't think it is. Hitting it perfect. See if it hits the flagpole. Ooh, barely. <laughs> barely. All right, I survived that round. I didn't pick up anything special, though. That's that's the bad part. Hole number two. Damn it. Arr. All right. I have no idea where that's going to put me. It's not going to put me at the top. I can guarantee that. There's 16s at the top for sure. And I think I, we, I limped in with like a weak qualifying round. So it's not even going to put me up high in the 15s. I'll be surprised if it's a top 10. Yep, that's exactly what it deserves to be. Had to break into that 16 mark. And that's exact. this is exactly what it looked like in my 77 account. We'll see if somebody broke into the 17. That's exactly what it looked like in 77's account at the end. It was minus 17, three 16s, four 16s actually. And then the 15's coming down. Let's see what they ended up as a coming in with a good qualifier in this very very nice good job 20 billion earned can you imagine how nice their clubs are with 20 billion earned? they have they're not collecting clubs cards anymore they're collecting balls now every day they get three balls with 20 billion they've got every club maxed out and they did that in 22,000 games so they're not playing anything but upper level stuff with this that's awesome awesome It's good to play against anybody who's out there. Another one playing playing up at the top. Those are nice scores though. You gotta pick up something. Let's see what the let's see what the common denominator was. I'll bet you all I'll bet you every one of the people up here at the top picked up number two. Number two. Well, no number two, but they did pick up the hole in one on hole number three. Number two. Number two. We're seeing a trend. <laughs> number two. You got to pick up number two. Number two is the one. Yeah, and all of these people that are down here, I, I would bet that there's a bunch of there's a bunch here that did not get an Alvi because that that's the hole right there. There's somebody that dropped another one. They they were set up for it. All right, we know which one was the uh, the hole that everybody had to get in this tournament. Hole number two. Thanks for watching. That was uh, that was a pitiful thirteenth. With the minus fifteen, that was a good round, but I just needed to pick up something. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great week, and um, I will catch you on the next one. Stay safe.